in front of me, I do have a young leader who has been solid in many things, including his acquisition of all the accolades that we have laid upon him. Well deserved, I must say. But let me welcome him, Kekamba style, Tamutongoi, na Tamutoma one. You are with Senator Mutula Kelonzo. Whether you can you can sing along. <laughs> this is your ringtone. <laughs> I can't get <laughs> over it. <laughs> now you've told everybody, well, give me a call. Yeah, Mutongoi. Well, um, uh, Senator, so what do I call you? Do I call you Senator? Do I call you Mutula? What do I call, call you? Call me Mutula. I call you Mutula. Yeah. All right. It call. works well with me. If you, if, you, if you may, you can call me Junior. Okay. Um, you can call me Cecilia Mutomo one. Can I send you some Mutongoi? Can I send you some Or you can just call me um, Dame Cecilia. No one wants to do the one of my complications. <laughs> All right, uh, so um, uh, Karibu uh, Mutulan, thank you so much for making time. I know you've had a, a busy schedule. Even now, I know that uh, you're going to be hurrying off, but thank you for giving us at least an hour. Oh, yes. So possibly, uh, let's just uh, get uh, right into it. Of course, I've been uh, following you as you speak at uh, various uh, media houses, and um, I'm very impressed by your understanding of uh, the current issues and being able to combine them and just talk about them in a way that the layman can understand but possibly let's start with uh, the big one yes we have um our iebc yes or probably let's come to that in a bit um the supreme court um you know read its readings or the readings of uh, the rulings so they have been rehashed and relitigated possibly just a small take um on that and the precedent that has been set now by our Supreme Court, is it a dangerous thing? And does our Supreme Court still retain the power it had before? You know, the, the, the ruling. Uh, thank you. The, mm -hmm. um, I call it a Maraga moment. Mm -hmm. uh, all over the world, decisions, decisions of uh, such magnitude are associated with the president of the court. Mm -hmm. and that's why you call it a Maraga ruling. If it mm -hmm. if it was chunga, the you would say the chunga ruling. Mm -hmm. But let me let me explain uh, how significant this is. Mm -hmm. It's it's extremely si significant to our country mm -hmm. that um, the persons who drafted this constitution put the Supreme Court not necessarily to deal with the presidential election, which mm -hmm. is part of, and uh, because they have an original mandate, it's called, we call it jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. But why you set up a systems like the uh, systems like the ones we have set up of county governments, national government, mm -hmm. it was anti and other institutions. Mm -hmm. It was anticipated that the arbitrator mm -hmm. of those disputes mm -hmm. would be the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. When we had a, an issue about the gender rule before the last general elections, mm -hmm. the Attorney General of Kenya went to the Supreme Court to seek an advisory opinion. Mm -hmm. When the Senate of this Republic was denied its role in decision making in terms of something we call division of revenue yes. between national we call it horizontal. Mm -hmm. a division of revenue the f person the f last resort mm -hmm. was the supreme court of kenya and i want to confess mm -hmm. that uh, while this was going on I, I i and i was doing research because that time my father was a justice minister mm -hmm. i copied and mirrored the supreme court of india mm -hmm. it's very respected mm -hmm. so when you have all these uh, institutions and there's a possibility that one might crawl into the other. Yes. Uh, because, uh, you know, there's that famous phrase that says power is sweet and it's sweeter when it's concentrated. Well, I'll let you know when I get into power. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you need a, a sort of a, uh, you see, the, you need a moderator. Mm -hmm. And the moderator, let me tell you, mm -hmm. is the Supreme Court. So has so, that so been destroyed now? The, no, what, what it has destroyed mm -hmm. is, is something we call in Kenya a big man syndrome. Okay. When he started his ruling and said that every country must be, this country must be governed by the rule of law, mm -hmm. that phrase came from what is called the, um, uh, the, the Treaty of 1215, mm -hmm. where the king agreed to be subject to the to law. Mm -hmm. And the king agreed that even where he was disgruntled, mm -hmm. he would not invade the, the private citizens. 
that is where the rule of law principle comes in. Mm -hmm. And then he says, fidelity to the constitution. When you take a Bible mm -hmm. and say, I shall, I swear that I shall protect, I shall defend mm -hmm. without fear, and that using that word that most of us can't pronounce, conscientiously. <laughs> <laughs> Without conscientiously, conscientiously, conscientiously oh without fear, <laughs> oh, without favor. Mm -hmm. And so help me God, mm -hmm. if all of us stuck to that oath, yes. you then uh, fit into the shoes of something we call fidelity to the constitution. So what has happened so now? So what has happened yeah, now? Now, yes. Is that you have an institution that can say no when it, beca it is it's an issue concerns even the president. That I, is big, says Mutungi. It is. It is. It's. It's massive. We've set a in, precedent. In Kikamba, you say Kunyala. Kunyala. You sweat. <laughs> As you're reading that thing, you can bite your tongue. I'm telling you, it's wow. big. None wow. of the chief justices mm -hmm. who we have given the independence, mm -hmm. we have we have given tools, mm -hmm. we have given the constitution, we have given them security of tenure. Yes, have come to that level. No, they haven't. The only person has done that since independence, mm -hmm. says Mutungi, mm -hmm. is Chief Justice David Marag. Well, he's been doing a lot of the sweating, but in the same in, in the same vein, has his decision changed things within the Supreme Court and the relationship between the judges mm. of the Supreme Court and us, um, the, the normal Kenyans, and the government arm? No, uh, uh, there's something that is going on that is wrong, mm -hmm. says Mutungi, yeah. when, he, when he talks about the fidelity to the Constitution. The, a lot of the people who criticize the decision, and we call it the Maraga decision, although it's not his. Well, it's going I, to become I, so, I, yes. So because he was, he was, he, the, he was his decision, and that of the other bench, of the other members of the bench, mm -hmm. uh, was in what we call a majority decision. Mm -hmm. But we somehow, for some reason, the the minority decision becomes the one that is celebrated. In a majority decision, the minority is just an, you. You say I object. Yes. But it doesn't become the ruling. The ruling of the court is actually the majority ruling. ruling. The minority ruling mm -hmm. just informs that. informs you <laughs> that there was another person seated there who, didn't, well. who didn't agree. You know what <laughs> happened, uh, says mm -hmm. in the previous courts? Mm -hmm. uh, we have moved a little. We are, even though uh, we, uh, we are, um, people are criticizing the minority, let me just say this. Mm -hmm. Minority rulings are famous. There's mm -hmm. a gentleman called Lord Denning. Mm -hmm. Lord Denning was, was famous for minority rulings. Mm -hmm. And minority rulings, although sometimes... Uh, 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 will go against the grain. Mm -hmm. They inform what we call jurisprudence. Means mm -hmm. going forward, is there something that they missed out? Those sort of things. Okay. It's not the sort of thing that I saw in the Supreme Court where mm -hmm. the judges were attacking one another. So that I'm was, going back. That is it's, that it's was backward. Odd. It's backward. By the before you move on, did this ruling surprise you? Were you surprised by it? By the way, I was shocked. <laughs> Oh my God. Absolutely shocked. But you know why? So, why I was just shocked that somebody could utter those words. Do you know? The declaration of the president is hereby nullified. My goodness. I know. Heads I of think, state. I think if, if really, in reality, it's like the clock stopped moving. It Pro did. But let me tell you the reason why I'm disgruntled about the fact that we are dealing with the, uh, with the, the judges in the manner we are. Mm -hmm. If you look at Article 1, there are three bodies mm -hmm. or three categories of persons mm -hmm. who, are, who are given power by the sovereign. Mm -hmm. That is the executive where the president sits. Yes. The legislators where I sit. Yes. And then the judiciary and independent tribunals. So let me tell you, says Mutungi, mm -hmm. and those who are listening in traffic and other places, <laughs> a bar in your heel. A bar in your heel. The Supreme Court of Kenya is acting on behalf of the sovereign. So we all are equal. I, you remember that advert what? of Tasca? Tasca yes. Has, makes us equal and has, has no, no equal. equal. Oh my that God, is what? I'd forgotten that one. Uh, yeah. Is the Supreme Court now divided? No, I can't say it is divided. It's not divided. It I mean, will, will they still be able to come together and make another ruling oh, without yes. fear? You know, they don't come together because they want. They don't sit together because they, 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 they like one another. <laughs> Obviously. They don't sit together because they laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. They sit together because the law mandates them to do so. A okay. bench of the Supreme Court is composed of five judges. Mm -hmm. There must be five. If you don't sit, you have abdicated your responsibilities. 
Wow, you've made it sound really serious. It okay, is. Okay, here is we go. Serious. Yes, <laughs> now the, the gravity of the matter is, it's a serious, is, is, it's a serious issue. is coming home. But I didn't congratulate you on your um, second win. I think it's it's just amazing. What you should congratulate, congratulate me for mm -hmm. is not the victory. It's what? It's the, the uh, percentage. Oh, wow. Okay, enlighten me. <laughs> on the percentage. 97.1%. Why, where? So they like you. Uh, well, what, what can you say? <laughs> <laughs> so I they, don't want to be the one to say it. Okay, so let me say it. They like you and they have given you another chance. They have well, given me a, mm. a, a, a better opportunity than the one they gave me uh, when uh, my late father passed on. Yes. Because then it was at 92.1. So it can only mean that there's, uh, I've improved on the already existing platform which they gave me. And, they, and, and, and it's something that uh, I'm truly proud of because I didn't deserve mm. it in the first instance. Oh come now! I think you're being a bit harsh. I do oh, yeah, think that. A, a fact. Well, I think I think you. I mean, uh, people you, voted for me, and they had never seen my face. They didn't know who I was. Well, your name and reputation have preceded you. Oh, well, 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 <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> but right. uh, but the the vote uh, mm. spoke for itself.